Jedi? Seabrick, I told you help would come. We'd almost given up hope. Thank you for saving our little family. Glad to help. Do you people work at this facility? Have you come to protect the shock drum, like Master Kawix? What happened to her? She defended us against Imperial soldiers led by a Sith. She fought bravely, but the Sith was stronger. Kawix was a Jedi Master. This clearly wasn't your average Sith Lord. I don't know about average, but I've never seen anything like him. I assumed he was going to kill us all. Instead, he captured Master Kawix alive and ignored us. The Sith destroyed your droids, but he didn't harm us. He said we were no threat, and that we didn't deserve to die. I've never known a Sith to show mercy. It was almost like the idea of killing us insulted him. He wasn't kind, but I certainly wouldn't describe him as cruel. The Sith and his soldiers took Master Kowix and the Shock Drum prototype into the desert. Brick and I were attempting to restore power to this facility and track them down when the Sand People attacked. The Sand People won't be a problem anymore, but we need to find that weapon. Can you help? This facility can pick up the Shock Drum's locator beacon, but not until we restore power. The Sith knocked out all our generators during his attack. If you reactivate them, we can find him, Master Kowix, and the Shock Drum. Facility power is back online. I'm afraid that's the only good news I have. I just detected the Shock Drum's locator beacon. The weapon has been activated. If we don't shut it down, the device will soon reach critical mass. When it does, Tatooine's core will explode. Your home will be fine, Brick. Just tell me where the shock drum is. Pinpointing the shock drum's exact location from here is impossible. The seismic vibrations disrupt our sensors. The general region is thousands of square kilometers. We have to narrow it down somehow. Brick! That's brilliant! The ultrasonic scanners, of course! If your sensors are useless, what good will scanners be? Ultrasonic scanners read seismic disruptions in the ground and trace them to their source. Ultrasonic scanners placed in a wide pattern will triangulate the shock drum's seismic disturbances. They'll reveal its location. Installing the scanners is extremely dangerous. The desert region is deadly. Ideally, we'd send an army. Your droids won't be ready soon enough, Brick. This Jedi is our only hope. I feel Master Kowix reaching out to me. Something terrible is happening to her. We'll save her. That's a promise. Take the ultrasonic scanners. Place them at these map coordinates. We'll contact you by hollow once we've triangulated the shock drum's location. Good luck. I placed the scanners. Do you have a fix on the shock drum? Collating the scanner readings now. Ah, oh, no wonder the sensors couldn't find it. It's beneath an abandoned mining complex. I'm sending the coordinates and the shock drum's deactivation code. Everything depends on you now, but we'll be here if you need us. If I fail, Tatooine gets destroyed. You don't want to be here for that. I'll do respect, Master Jedi. If this planet and its people die, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Hope to see you again. Heron out. Greetings, Jedi. I am Lord Praven. My master seeks retribution for his son's death. I must give it to him. If all you want is my death, why destroy Tatooine? When my master learned you were here, he demanded I activate the shock drum. He'll destroy this entire world. I know you've located the weapon, but that won't be enough. I changed the deactivation code. If you can change it, so can I. Further tampering with the weapon will cause a catastrophic explosion. You need the code I possess. Come, face me. If I win, I've done my duty. If you win, you'll have the new code. Whatever the outcome, we will battle with honor. 
I wait you at these coordinates. I sense your power. Now I understand why Tarnis was no match for you. His death was my failure. I should have trained him better. The other Sith I fought were full of hatred and arrogance. In you, I sense regret. My family is true Sith. My only passions are integrity and honor. I welcome the end of your kind. The Jedi obsession with my people's extermination must end. Your lust for revenge will destroy this galaxy. Whatever you've been told about us, it's a lie. We'd gladly stop fighting if it meant genuine peace. I'd like to believe that, but I know better. Come, let us end this. Die well, Jedi. And stay down. <laughs> Such skill. So much power. Impressive. You could kill me. Why hesitate? You could have killed the scientist and those Jawas at the shock drum facility, but you didn't. They were not warriors. Their deaths would have been pointless. Darth Angrel commanded me to destroy the shock drum code. He wanted you to die in failure, no matter the outcome here. I will not tarnish my honor with petty tricks. You've earned better. The code is yours. Why turn against your master? I serve a higher authority than any master. A Jedi wouldn't understand. Darth Angrel ordered that Master Kuix suffer greatly before her death. I wish I had disobeyed that order as well. If Master Kuix is still alive, I will save her. I left her incapacitated next to your weapon. If they haven't already, the ultrasonic vibrations will eventually tear her apart. You scum! You should die like that! There is nothing more to say. You won our duel. Finish me. You may serve the Empire, but I won't kill you. You don't deserve it. Then honor demands I surrender to my master. He will do what you cannot. Look at what your honor and duty has led to. You don't owe that maniac anything. You could kill me, but refuse. Not out of fear, but compassion. The things I was taught about the Jedi. Were they all lies? It's never too late to turn from the dark side. Me? A Jedi? Impossible. Your order would never accept me. Jedi believe in forgiveness, not hate. Accepting a sworn enemy into one's ranks without fear, that is strength. I accept your offer. I'm too wounded to aid you, but I will surrender to your people. Now hurry, save this planet.